The Montreal Canadiens lose 5-4 to four to the Toronto Maple Leafs in overtime. The Canadiens started off this game pretty strong, a beauty of a goal from Nick Suzuki on a crazy angle, and that was a power play goal, of course, too, and Montreal goes up 1-0 in the first period. Not long after that, William Nylander puts a puck on a tee, and it goes top corner, short side on Carey Price to make it 1-1. Montreal's new look power play got two goals in this game, both were beauties, and you have to be encouraged about the early signs of Josh Anderson, what a game he had, two goals, some big hits thrown, and just a great first look from Anderson. Speaking of great first looks, how about Alexander Romanov in his first NHL game? One of the first potential scoring chances of the game came off Romanov's stick as he tried to send Tyler Toffoli on a break, which didn't result in a scoring play, but it almost did, and that was the first imp impression we had of him. A really solid game from Romanov, did not look like a rookie out there whatsoever. Some great plays from him, wasn't afraid to shoot, threw some good hits, and really just looked like he had a good head on his shoulders throughout this game. While the Habs are still in their second power play near the end of the first period, under 30 seconds to go, Nick Suzuki wins the faceoff, Jonathan Duran gets a pass to Anderson, and he snipes it short side on Frederick Anderson. 2-1 Habs going into the intermission. Jonathan Duran, who had an okay game in this one, also had a great chance on a breakaway. There was two breakaways on this next power play in the second period for Montreal. Duran makes one too many moves and kind of dekes himself out, and the puck goes back the other way. Then that puck goes on to the stick of Romanov, and he sends Tatar in on another clear-cut breakaway. And Tatar this time makes no mistake, goes 5-hole in Freddie Anderson. It's 3-1 Montreal. At this point, you had to be feeling pretty good about the Canadiens game. And this game was a game of special teams, because then what happened after that? The Leafs get a five on three power play. William Nylander with an absolute snipe on Carey Price goes top corner, took his time, had some great hands in there and made it 3-2 Montreal. On that same power play, Mitch Marner, quick hand Mitch with the new stick, by the way, um, just makes a great pass down low to John Tavares for the tip in goal and it's 3-3. We should mention, of course, how and why the Leafs got a spark and were able to turn the momentum in their favor, and that was because newly acquired forward Wayne Simmons gets into a scrap with Ben Sherrod out front of Carey Price. They're having a good battle, and Sherrod agrees to drop the gloves, and off they go. Credit to Simmons, though, for giving his team a spark, as, of course, from there on, the Leafs got the momentum, tied the game, and even gave a friendly thumbs up to Ben Sherrod in the penalty box. It's always good to see sportsmanship after a fight, but... After the guys on the panel in the second pier were talking, they were saying how in that situation, Sherratt probably would have been better off not dropping the gloves and giving the Leafs an opportunity to get some momentum, to get a spark, to get back in the game, because that's exactly what they did. In hindsight, it obviously didn't work in Montreal's favor to drop the gloves as the momentum did swing in the Leafs' favor, but hopefully going forward, the next time we have a two-goal lead, nobody drops the gloves and we learn something from it. Less than a minute into the third period, Josh Anderson again storms the net as he was doing all night and tucks a nifty little goal underneath Frederick Anderson. It almost looks like Suzuki got a piece and was going to get credit for the goal, but Anderson gets it 4-3 Montreal. Then comes poor Jonathan Duran. Duran tried to clear the puck behind Carey Price's net to get it out of the zone, and what happens? It bounces off the official right to Jimmy VC for a late Christmas present, and he ties the game 4-4. My gut reaction for how overtime was going to go is that I didn't like Montreal's chances, and that was because Austin Matthews is standing in front of Carey Price with under a minute to go in the third period, and he takes a cross-check from Shea Weber, and then another one from Ben Sherratt, and either one of those plays really could have been penalties. A lot of people will tell you, including the reporters that cover the Canadians, that Shea Weber gets away with, quote, murder out there. Can't say that that's not entirely true. And realistically, either one of those cross-checks could have been penalties. So I didn't have a good feeling going into the overtime. And then sure enough, John Tavares on a 2-1-1 -on gets it over to Morgan Riley and he puts it away to give the Leafs the victory 5-4. 3-on-3 three three overtime is such a crapshoot, but it's, it's tons of fun, right? I mean, we can't say that it's not. Philip Deneau got a breakaway that he looked like he almost didn't even want it. He was so gassed. He was so tired. He's just like, don't even give me the puck. Goes in on a breakaway and just can't really get a great shot off. It was a really good effort from both sides. It was an entertaining game. It certainly wasn't boring. I was happy with the Canadians' performance. I liked the looks of new Canadians, Josh Anderson. Tyler Toffoli had some really good looks on the Kakanyemi Armia line. I think the Canadians may want to insert Corey Perry into the lineup for the next time they play the Leafs, but I mean, the fourth line, I like Paul Byron on there. Jake Evans had an okay game, struggled in the faceoff dot, I thought. Arturi Lekkinen as hard as he battles. I think it would be nice to see Ryan Paling, Corey Perry, 
and Paul Byron on that fourth line. I, I, just, I would just like to see that combo. The Habs will now remain on the road for the first several games of this season as they go into Edmonton on Saturday night. So stay tuned to the channel as we break down that game for you. And then, of course, after that, Montreal carries on to play three games in a row against Vancouver. Thanks so much for tuning in with Drew Deeks here. It was a lot of fun, and it's going to be a lot more coming, guys. This is my first time ever doing this, so thank you so much for supporting this channel. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. Whenever there's hockey news that I have a take on for any team, I'll throw another team's jersey on. I'm not too proud to put on another team's jersey. That includes the Maple Leafs, guys, so stay tuned to this channel. Thanks for the support, and we'll see you guys on the next one.